a commercial lander touches down on the moon, discussing the science on the space station, and preparing for the next space station crew rotation mission. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On February 22nd, Intuitive Machine's Odysseus lunar lander touched down near the south pole of the moon, marking the first lunar landing as part of NASA's CLIPS initiative and Artemis campaign. Intuitive Machines is one of several U.S. companies NASA is working with to deliver science experiments and technology demonstrations to the lunar surface to help the agency explore the moon in advance of Artemis astronaut missions to the lunar surface and ultimately crewed missions to Mars. During an Earth to Space call on February 21st, NASA leadership talked to the crew aboard the International Space Station about scientific research and technology demonstrations taking place on the orbiting laboratory. This included research that could improve our understanding of what leads to age-related bone loss in humans, and a small robot that can be remotely controlled from Earth to perform surgical procedures in space. Learn more about science on the space station at nasa.gov station. The members of our upcoming SpaceX Crew-8 mission to the International Space Station entered quarantine recently. One of the last major milestones before heading to Florida for final pre-launch activities. The crew, including NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, will perform research, technology demonstrations, and maintenance during their stay aboard the space station. Launch is currently targeted for no earlier than March 1st from our Kennedy Space Center. All the major structures that will form the core stage of the Space Launch System, or SLS rocket for our Artemis 3 mission, are structurally complete. Technicians at our Mashoud Assembly Facility recently finished welding the 51-foot liquid oxygen tank structure. The Mega Rocket's other giant propellant tank, the liquid hydrogen tank, is also a fully welded structure. Both tanks will be a part of the rocket used for the first of the Artemis missions, planning to land astronauts on the moon's surface near the lunar south pole. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.